cows. Cows are tomorrow. Cows are tomorrow. Jersey tomorrow. Resuming our red and white show, fall yearling and milk class, the class is uh, sponsored by Accelerated Genetics. The class winner is entry 8090, Greenlee, Edmund Lynn, exhibited by Spencer Weimer of Solid Gold Holsteins in Hamilton, Pennsylvania. Just one entry here in our milk and yearling class to start off our cow show off. Cow is uh, recently fresh. What a beautiful otter cow. Just a tremendous frame cow. But you, know, you get behind her, you love the height, the way to the top of the rear rudder. The overall balance and dariness is separate. And certainly an effort uh, that can handle a lot more competition, but uh, certainly just a tremendous effort here. Congratulations. Again, the winner of the Fall Yearling and Milk Class is entry 8090, Freely Ed and Lynn, exhibited by Spencer Weimer of Solid Gold Holsteins in Edmonton, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. That class was sponsored class, sponsored by Accelerated Genetics. We're now moving to the junior two-year-old class. Again, a sponsored class, sponsored by Lawrence Haven Holsteins in Pennsylvania. Junior two-year-olds in the ring. In the four-year-old class, 
is sponsored by us by David Croshaw and Dig Legal Farm. Entry 3273, 3rd, Misty Meadows MP, Sadie Hawkins, exhibited by Beth Ann Clark, Misty Meadows, New Paris, Pennsylvania. In second place, 3276, Sunrise Boy Maria, exhibited by Tom McCarty, Rocky Hill Farm, Hughesville, Pennsylvania. And in first place, entry 3272, Millborn Farms, Beyonce, exhibited by P. Maury Miller, Millborn Farm, Granby, Connecticut. Judge? We got a beautiful uh, two cows up here at the top of this four year old class. Uh, I'm going to start off with my cow with the, uh, the, with the best owner of the show, uh, the class. I just love that we had the shirt, the, uh, the other, uh, the, uh, she's a little higher, wider than the other. She's a little bit better. Uh, Tie, the four ties are never a little bit better than my cat. I think framed cow here in a second. A beautiful for a dairy framed cow here in a second. Uh, with a pretty good udder, you'd like to see more of a type and uh, maybe uh, smooth and four udders out to get a little higher today. And I like to change maybe the way she walks in the rear uh, pasture a little bit. But, uh, beautiful dairy framed cow with the open the rear. That's what makes her a little bit better than down there. Another nice framed dairy cow. I'd like to change her udder and this is like the udder up a little bit for the down third. Uh, but she does have enough dairiness in the uh, uh, and look of the rear udder that was over the count fourth there. Nice uh, group of four years there. Sponsored by Mount Aaron Farm and Rocky Hill Farm. For more, those of you marking your catalogs, the four year old class, entry 3268 was fourth, 3272 was first with Best Utter, and she was best known and bred in the class. Millward Farms Beyonce, exhibited by P. Maury Miller, Millward Farm, Granby, Connecticut. 3273 was third. 3276 was second and second best utter, and 3301 was fifth.
In the junior two-year-old class, the red and white ring, third place, after 8106, Maple Bound CC Cindy, exhibited by Craig Countryman, Maple Bounds Farms, Middleburg, Middleburg, New York. Second place, entry 8095, Lawrence Haven Annie, exhibited by Cessna Brothers, Clearville, Pennsylvania. And winning the class is entry 8102, MS Glad Ray, more fun, exhibited by Cooper Gall. Rock and View Farms, London, New York. Judge Ryan. What a beautiful group of cows here in your junior two-year-old class, and certainly a, just a tremendous pair to start off the class. This first cow, though, what a frame. I <laughs> love the uphill run, the strength, the power all the way through. A cow that moves exceptionally well on her feet and legs is just a beautiful honored cow. This overall motor to his size and scale all the way through. She's a little bit more spring and old miss the bolt the forward rear rim. Just more cow, and I also prefer the way she's stepping out on the stronger pass here today than a tremendous regretted cow coming along here in second. Our second place cow, an extremely well balanced dairy, angular, clean cut cow. You love her from behind. Really a beautiful deep crease cow, tremendous dairy cow. Fits over all of the edge of clean cutness and sharpness today. That takes her over the big framing cow here in third. Her second place cow is cleaner to the head and neck. She's sharper all the way down, a little bit more cleaner and flatter hot today. But a beautiful friend cow here in third and fourth. But third over fourth, she's just a little bit deeper today in the scene. I prefer the way she's stepping down on a stronger pass. So she's a little bit more up in her front end, too. She's wider through the muzzle, wider through the chest floor, and wider back through the hips, pins, and throats. Our fourth goes over both our fifth and sixth place cows today, just more cow. Lots of our longer cow from end in, just more stretch all the way through. More green character above the head and neck than our fifth place cow today. But once again, just a tremendous group of dairy, good under cows here in your junior two year old class. Congratulations. In the Jersey five-year-old class, in third place, entry 3285, Buena Vista Juanita, exhibited by Michael Edward Spurrier, and Alvadale Sturzies, Kimar Maryland. Second place, entry 3289, Snyder's Attica Agile, exhibited by Kendi Beth Gable, Snyder Homestead Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. And in first place, entry 3279, Snyder's Attica Hummer, exhibited by Kendi Beth Gable, Snyder Homestead Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. Got uh, two nice, uh, two nice guys good close uh, at the top of the class. Both cows are really close placing here to me. I'm going to be my first place cow than any of the other. Uh, uh, just a little bit more high to, higher to rear, a little bit slicker, more in the front uh, water. I do uh, love the frame of this cow in the second. I love the hard top of this cow in the second, but uh, I just like the slicker udder up a little bit more on the top of the udder. Yeah, it is that dairy frame, you know, uh, it is the main thing that goes over the uh, yeah, here in third, yeah, in third, just like when you uh, straighten her up a little bit through the loin and uh, just uh, change her head or make it a little bit, you get her a little higher today. A nice class of five year olds here. Marking your catalog in the junior two year old class in the red and white ring and 
class sponsored by Lawrence David Holstein's the Lawrence family. Entry 8094 was scratched. 8095 was second in the second best letter. 8097 was fourth. 8098 was sixth. 8101 was scratched. 8102 MS Glad Ray Fund, exhibited by Cooper Gold from Rocket View Farm in New York, was first place in first best letter. 8104 was scratched. 8105 was fifth. 8106 Maple Down CC Sydney was third and first blood best letter, exhibited by Craig Countryman from Middleburg, New York. We now have the senior two year olds in the ring, the senior two year old class sponsored by Taurus Service. Six years and older class is now entering the Guernsey ring. Sponsored by Solid Gold Dairy Marketing and Welcome Stop Guernseys. For those marking your catalogs, previous class, five year olds, 3278 was fifth, 3279 Snyder's Attic Hummer, exhibited by Kenny Beth Gable, Snyder Homestead Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. She was first with best utter, and she was also best owner bread. 3285 was third, 3287 was fourth, 3289 was seventh best utter, and second in the class.
In the Guernsey Sixers and Over class, in third place, entry 3297, Whispering Pines Poker Zoe, exhibited by Erica Showalter, Skyler Summer, and Sawyer Reed, Whispering Pines Farms, Cambridge, Ohio. In second place, entry 3294, Millbourne Tiller Blair ET, exhibited by P. E. Maury Miller, Millbourne Farm, Granby, Connecticut. And in first place, 3292, Walnut Ridge, Russ Nober, exhibited by Caitlin G. Moser, Walnut Ridge Farm, Middletown, Maryland. Judge? Oh, we got a beautiful uh, cow, uh, two cows up here at the top of the class. I just love the precarious and that angularity of this uh, just cow. This has been for about six weeks, so this guy's going to be even better with a little bit more time. Uh, just love the uh, overall style of there. It's an open so rib, and, and she, uh, I'm going to give her the advantage the way she moves out of our feet and legs today. A little, uh, a little bit better than my cow in second. The cow in second. Uh, nice big framing cow here. Uh, like the veining of this cow. And you know, like the width of the rear of her. Maybe like to see more crease of rear. I think it'll be a little bit higher today. But it is the main and the overall style there. It just makes her over the cow in third here. The cow in third just like to snug that other a little bit and uh, get a little bit, uh, walk a little bit better on her feet and legs. Uh, uh, but a nice two cows definitely at the top of the glass. Next class in the Guernsey ring is the 100,000 or 25,000 pound class, sponsored by Crownstone Farm. Previous class, six years and over. The best, the first place animal, Walnut Ridge Nuss Nover, exhibited by Caitlin G. Moser, Walnut Ridge Farm, Middletown, Maryland. That animal was best uttered and best owned and bred in the class. Entry 3293 is place sixth. 3294 second with second best utter, 3295 fourth, 3296 fifth. In the 100,000 pound class, 100,000, 125,000 pound class, one animal, entry 3302, first place, Snyder Dolly, Dollar Adeline, exhibited by Aaron Gable, Snyder Homestead Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. Well, uh, definitely got this class right here. Definitely a well deserving of a blue ribbon. Uh, nice to make yeah, beautiful frame cat yeah, that has uh, uh, been milking for a long time. And, uh, uh, the, the girl said she is due back in March and would like to see this guy on blue someday. She can maybe go get to the somewhere. In the senior two year old class, red white ring, third place, entry 8109, green lead TM Despo, exhibited by M. Barry, J. Lamayo, and Mike Heath, the Heath Holsteins of Westminster, Maryland. Second place, entry 8115, green lead TM Real AB. Exhibited by Cassie Shermer of Pampered Acres in 
Galena, Maryland. Winning the class is entry 8120, Rolf Sarah Russ Bertina B, exhibited by Laura Emerson in the Middletown, Delaware. What a group of senior two-year-olds here. You have to love, love this cow here on top. A cow that's so much dairy and has so much angularity, clean cut and sharpness all the way through. And a cow that has enough strength. And then you get behind her and a cow that just wears a tremendous honor. You love the height and width, the bloom to the top of the rear rudder. The teats are up underneath where they need to be. Just a real quality cow. But she's a little bit more midsection today. A little bit more spring and openness in both the four and rear rear than the big tall one for coming along here in second. A tremendous frame effort in her own right. You love the uphill run, the straightness aligns. I have for that moves exceptionally well. She's a little bit uh, deeper through the seat today than the cow coming along here in third. My second place cow here. She's harder across the loin, carrying her loins a little bit nicer than a beautiful, well balanced cow here in third. Third place cow recently fresh, just needs a little bit more time to clean out. Uh, but certainly a cow that uh, just a tremendous, tremendous individual. Fits her balance in the rear corner on her third place cow that takes her over the real nice cow coming along here in fourth. A third place cow just a little bit more natural hairiness, a little bit more green character about the head and neck, a little bit more cleaner all the way through. But a tremendous frame cow here in fourth. A fourth over fifth, just a little bit more sharper all the way through. And I just prefer the way she handles on her travels on her feet and legs today. She's got a little bit more desirable scent to the hog today. She flexes that hog a little bit nicer than a big frame red cow coming along. Him. Once again, just a tremendous group of cows in your senior two-year-old class all the way down. Congratulations. In the senior two-year-old class, in a class sponsored by Taurus Service in Poofany, Pennsylvania, 8109 was third and second best daughter. 8110 was seventh. 8111 was scratched. 8113 was fifth. 8114 fourth. 8115 was second. 8117 was sixth. 8120, Rob Sarah Russ Martina B, exhibited by Laura Emerson of Middletown, Delaware, was first bred known and first best daughter. 8121 was scratched, 8122 was eight. We now have the junior three-year-olds in the ring. Junior three-year-olds, the class is sponsored by Stone Nurse Dairy Sales of Strasburg, Pennsylvania. Currently in the ring are the dry cows in the Guernsey ring. This is a sponsored class by the top 10 Guernseys and Kathy Miller. Dry cow class in the Guernsey ring. Entry 3185 is third. Ely Highland Spider J, exhibited by Dale and Ely. Ely's Highland Farm, Sharpsville, Pennsylvania. In second place, 3298. Rocky Hill Demand Shelby, exhibited by Tom McCarty. Rocky Hill Farm, Hughesville, Pennsylvania. And in first place, 3188. I feel D.L. Norma, exhibited by Tanner McDonald Rawlison, Green Slopes Farm, Inler, Pennsylvania. We got the three dry cows out here, uh, all three a little bit different. I'm not sure what off of the cow to me just uh, shows up a, a little bit more youthfulness. Uh, it looks like she's going to be she's going to be calving as a five year old with her fourth calf. Uh, she's still got nice and youthful style of her. Walks out of nice beaten legs and nice spring array up here. Uh, she's going to go over my year over here, nine year old, looks like she's uh, got a beautiful frame to her, got a nice open rib. They would like to change her uh, a little bit to get her a little higher today. Then we got a nice two year over here, the two year old in the camp, not too far from down. 
I just like to clean her up a little bit in the area, a little bit on my hand and knee. So, uh, three guys crying gals. The Guernsey Total Performance Competition, third place is entry 3302, Snyder's Dollar Adeline, exhibited by Aaron Gable, Snyder Homestead Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. Second place, entry 3289. Snyder's Attica Agile, exhibited by Kendi Beth Gable, Snyder Homestead Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. And the first place total performance animal is entry 3294, Millborn Tiller Blair, ET, exhibited by P. Maury Miller, Millborn Farm, Grand Bay, Connecticut. Congratulations to all. In the junior three-year-old class in the red white ring, third place to entry 8128, Kirby U LB Pink Lady, exhibited by Marissa Kirkendall, Kirkendall Farms in Columbia, New Jersey. Second place to entry 8130, Spun Gold, MBU Autumn, exhibited by Dale and Deanna Bending, Spun Gold, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Winning the class is entry 8126, Lakeview, Debonair Jane. Exhibited by John Couch of Lakeview Farm, Huntington, Pennsylvania. Judge. Once again, room four, real good honor to Aaron Cows here. Thanks. But quite a frame, Cow, for uh, to win this class today. You love the uphill run, the strength, the power that she has all the way through. Cow, that's got that tremendous combination of old areas and strength. If you can get behind her, you love the rear rudder, the height and width, the fullness at the top of the rear rudder. It's her overall capacity, all, all, overall cow power that takes her over the room and other cow coming along here in second. Just so much more cow on her winner today. Our second place cow, a beautiful dairy angular, clean cut cow in her own right. Just not quite the midsection as their winner today. But it's her overall move to the udder today. The length of the four udder attachment, the tightness the way it blends into the body wall. It takes her over the real good like a red cow coming along here in third. Our third place cow, an extremely balanced cow. I just prefer the way her teeth are placed more centrally placed beneath her quarters today. A little bit nicer on the move today. A little bit more flexes that rock, a little bit nicer, a little bit more cleaner all the way through than a beautiful dairy rear udder cow coming along in fourth. Once again, just a tremendous group of cows here in your junior three. Year old class, congratulations. If you're marking your catalog in a junior three year old class, sponsored by Stonehurst Farm Dairy, the Don Malkin family, entry 8124 was fourth, 8125 was scratched, 8126, Lakeview, Devonair, Jane. Exhibited by John Couch, Huntington, Pennsylvania, was first place, first bred and owned, and first best utter. 8128 was third, and 8130 was second, and second best utter. Now we move on to the senior three-year-old class. Senior three-year-olds, this class is sponsored by Harmony Farm. Senior three-year-olds.
Well, let's uh, get these uh, zippers again. We're out here for a senior champion of the uh, four, five, and six and eight cows. Got four beautiful cows out here in the middle of the rain. Uh, you, uh, you pick and choose a lot of things about the cows you like. Uh, I got my four-year-old out here that was a class winner. You get behind this cow, you just love the beauty. You see behind this cow, you just love her uh, with the rotor, out the rotor. You like the mane. She's a little. She might be a little uneven on one side. She's a little lighter on, her, on the, the side over here, and she is the other side. But that's just how many think we are. But then we got two nice five-year-olds that was real close in the, in the class. Uh, both of them beautiful dairy cows. Uh, I'll give my uh, first place five-year-old a little bit more advantage of the with the brood than they. Then we got a beautiful age cow here. She's uh, just been fresh about six weeks, but uh, she's a big, tall dairy cow. It's uh, odors. Good enough. You might like say you like to see more mating on her. That's just to be picky on her. She's uh, still way above the hop. Uh, really, still a nice primary dairy cow there. So, uh, for your senior champion, today is going to be your age cow. She's going to be your senior champion. Uh, the advantage of praying, dairiness, uh, utter still way above the hop, and uh, with and with her. Uh, for reserve, it's going to be my five year old. On a, on the five-year-old world, we're all, she's just a little bit more level on the floor the other in my, in my four-year-old. My four-year-old is going to be my honorable mention cow. Yeah, but I uh, love the view from my four-year-old from the line, but I like to see a little straighter at the top line and maybe a little, uh, a little more dairy in front end. But, uh, but uh, my four-year-old is going to be your honorable mention. So for senior champion, it'll be my age cow, five-year-old reserve, four-year-old honorable mention. Let's give them a round of applause. Your Guernsey Senior Champion is entry 3292, the HCAL Walnut Runs, Walnut Ridge, Nuss Rover, exhibited by Caitlin G. Moser, Walnut Ridge Farm, Middletown, Maryland. Your Reserve Senior Champion is entry 3279, Snyder's Attica Hummer, exhibited by Kenny Beth Gable, Snyder Homestead Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. And the honorable mention reserve senior champion is entry 3272, Millbourne Farms, Beyonce, P. Maury Miller, Millbourne Farm, Granby, Connecticut. Congratulations. The winner of the class is the senior three year old ring, the red white, is entry 8131, MSTR PLT, Rock of Love, exhibited by Richard M. Green and Greenlee. Middletown, Delaware. Judge. Three year old nice cows here in your senior three year old class, but for me, quite a handy winner. A cow you love the uphill run, the dairiness, the clean cutness all the way through. And you get behind her, just a tremendous rear other cow. But it's her overall bloom to the udder, the, the fullness at the top of the rear udder that takes her over the real near your cow here in second. That's been fresh a while, but certainly you love the dairiness, the openness of the rear, the spring that she has all the way through. And a cow that moves on an exceptional set of feet and legs. I just prefer the way she's longer, smoother in the water attachment. She's a little bit tighter in the water attachment and has those front teeth placed a little bit more squarely beneath her front quarters in the real big frame. will come along here in third. A tremendous rear under cow in her own right. Once again, congratulations. Three real good under cows. You're marking your catalog in the senior three-year-old class, class sponsored by Harmony Farm. Entered 8131 was first place, first best utter. MSTRPLT Rock of Love, exhibited by Richard Green of Green Lane Farm, Middletown, Delaware. 8132 was third, 8133 was second. I'll select our intermediate champion in the red white show. Intermediate champion.
Judge Chubb is currently making a decision regarding the Grand Champion Guernsey. This is a sponsored award, sponsored by Dairy One Cooperative. While we're waiting for Judge Chubb to make his decision on the grand champion, I'd like to announce that the winner of the Lanco Penland Milk Quality Award is entry 3279, the reserve grand or the reserve senior champion. That's entry 3279, Snyder's Attica Hummer, exhibited by Kendi Beth Gable, Snyder Homestead Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. Well, we got a uh, beautiful four cows out here for a uh, grand champion, a reserve grand champion. We got uh, two beautiful heifers out here. Uh, I'll tell you what, I just love these heifers even more when they come out for a uh, for grand champion reserve. Uh, this beautiful lady heifer is in there. They was real reserve and a grand champion champion, a reserve grand champion. Then we got our four, four cows out here. We got our uh, intermediate champion, junior three year old. And we have a uh, reserve on our uh, senior three year old. We have our senior champion, our HK, and we uh, reserve on our five-year-old. Uh, I'll tell you what, first of all, I need to thank you all for inviting me to come and judge your show. Uh, definitely want to thank Kathy Yeoman for being out here. She was a great help. I'll tell you what, uh, she, did a, she did a good job. She's a real deserving of being a judge anywhere, anytime. She, uh, she does, does a great job lining up cattle. Uh, I think we... Uh, Let's give these exhibitors a round of applause. I think they need a great round of applause. They've been working hard in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, in the barn, and uh, they, they're well deserved. For, uh, I'm going to go out, I'm going to slake my uh, horn here, and I'm going to slake my reserve horn, and I'm going to slake my my grand champion, then I'm going to slake my reserve, and I'm going to mention in that order. So after that, I'll come back and say something about them.
Well, uh, my grandchildren is going to be my, uh, my age pal. He just got too much brain here and there. He's he got a good, beautiful odor on his uh, six-year-old pal here yet. Uh, this little over here on there and the brain to this pal. And uh, my reserve is going to be my junior three-year-old. I uh, love the odor of this pal. I love what she's going to she's gonna be. She's just been fresh 10 days. Uh, she's going to get better, a lot better. But I'm mad at the time. And this uh, kind of cow you need to keep an eye on. She's going to be big time. Uh, she's the, it is the other that will take her over the cow, my five-year-old cow, today, for I won't mention. But uh, let's give them another round of applause. They did a good job. Well, let's give all our uh, exhibitors here in the Red Wings a uh, cow show. A uh, really nice round of applause. One of super, super group of young cows that have been created before us here. Taking nothing away from the cows behind me, super dairy cows, tremendous hundred cows. But for me, I pulled out the four cows that I think are most in contention for your immediate champion today. Your first and second place junior two-year-olds, your first place senior two-year-old, and your first place senior three-year-old. The junior two-year-old with a tremendous frame. We love the uphill run, the strength and power she has. A beautiful utter cow. Our second place junior two-year-old, an extremely dairy, clean cut, sharp cow. A very, very well balanced cow. The senior two-year-old cow, a tremendous utter cow in our right. Extremely dairy, clean cut, sharp cow. And a beautiful frame senior three-year-old cow. A very, very well balanced cow. A cow that moves exceptionally well. Once again, I'm going to congratulate your intermediate champion, reserve, and I will mention that order. This junior two-year-old for me, just a tremendous frame cow. A cow that moves exceptionally well. You love the uphill run, the strength and power that she has. For me, she's a little bit higher at the top of the rear than this beautiful, dairy clean cut two-year-old. Our, our junior two-year-old, just a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more strength and power in the front end, a little bit more cow all the way through. But what a beautiful, dairy clean cut, angular cow here, your senior two-year-old. And I just prefer the teeth size and shape on our two-year-old. They'll take her over a senior three-year-old that'll follow it on. We'll mention another extremely well balanced young cow in her own right. Intermediate champion on your junior two-year-old. Reserve intermediate on the senior two-year-old. I will mention on the senior three-year-old. Once again, congratulations, tremendous young cow show. Your intermediate champion in the red and white class, the senior to the first place junior two-year-old entry 8102 MS Flandre for fun, exhibited by Cooper Golf, Rock and View Farm in London, New York. The reserve intermediate champion is the first place senior two-year-old entry 8120 Rolf Sarah Rustler, Tina B, exhibited by Laura Emerson of Middletown, Delaware. And for honorable mention, is the first place senior three-year-old entry 8131 MSTRPLT Rock of Love, exhibited by Richard Green of Middletown, Delaware. We'll now have the four-year-olds in the ring. This class is sponsored by Spun Gold and Metatru Holsteins in Gettysburg. Four-year-old red and whites in the ring. To recap, the grand champion in the Guernsey Green was entry 3292, Walnut Ridge Nuss Noper, exhibited by Caitlin G. Moser, Walnut Ridge Farm, Middletown, Maryland. Reserve champion was entry 3248, Warwick Manor, Alamo Selma, exhibited by Kevin Stolzfus. Warwick Manor Farm, East Earl, Pennsylvania. 
honorable mention was the reserve senior champion. Entry 3279, Snyder's Attica Hummer, exhibited by Kendi Beth Gable, Snyder Homestead Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. The best senior female bred at home was the grand champion cow, 3292. Uh, that was an award sponsored by Pendale Farm. The best uttered cow in the Guernsey show today was entry 3248. Warwick Manor, Almo Selma, Kevin Stoltz, who's the exhibitor from Warwick Manor Farm, East Earl, Pennsylvania. She was the reserve brand champion. Another award presented today is to entry 3279. It's the Lanco Penland Milk Quality Award. That goes to Snyder's Attica Hummer. She was the reserve grand champion. Exhibited by Kendi Beth Gable, Snyder Homestead Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. Another great award and honor goes to the Premier Breeder and the Premier Exhibitor. Both those awards today are won by Snyder Homestead Farm. Congratulations, job well done. Judge Chubb is currently placing the best three female class. This is sponsored by Crownstone Farm and Misty Meadows Farm.
we got our senior three arrows out here. Uh, kind of close placing up here. One, two, and three are all kind of three, all, all three kind of close. But I'm gonna give my first place group an uh, advantage of overall daringness and uh, overall style. And then uh, my other group here in second, got a lot of nice letters in second place here. A lot of the width. Uh, you got the uh, cows, uh, all the cows that grow good in their classes and stuff. But uh, and uh, I won't give them an overall daringness, uh, not daringness, but uh, this on the other. Then we do the cow and the group in third. Uh, the cows in third are real beautiful cows. Look like cows are going to get better with age. But uh, I won't give my second place to the age on overall butter and this and then uh, one of the butters. And, uh, the cow in third, the group in third goes over the group in fourth. This overall style and nearness and youthfulness. Uh, really nice groups all the way down through there and through the end. Plus, uh, these uh, people need to be a, a product uh, for. Uh, or they're ever breaking their groups out. <laughs> the results of the best three females in class sponsored by Crown Stone Farm and Misty Meadows Farm. In third place, Kevin Stoltz, Goose Warwick Manor Farm, East Earl, Pennsylvania. In second place, entry 3344, P. Morey Miller, Billboard Farm, Granby, Connecticut. And in first place, Bernita C. Gable, Snyder Homestead Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. In our four-year-old class in red white ring, third place after 81-44, Leland Edmund Starr, exhibited by Kim Ryan, Robert Morrill, of Morrill Farm Dairy in Pennycook, New Hampshire. Second place after 81-40, Ridgedale Runaway, exhibited by Cyrus Conrad of Ridgedale Farms in Sharon Springs, New York. And winning the class is after 81-43, Greenlee Edmund Cara. Exhibited by Declan Patton, Australia. Judge? Once again, a tremendous group of cows all the way down. But for me, a cow, pretty handy winner today. A cow recently fresh. You get behind her, you love the length and width to the top of the rear, the fullness to the top of the rear, just a little bit more below today than our second place cow. Our first place cow, a tremendous frame cow, you know, the overall angularity and spring rib that she has. The second place cow, certainly an extremely dairy cow, clean cut cow. And that's what gives her the advantage over our third place cow. Our second place, just so much more spring and openness to both the forward rear and more midsection today than the big, tall, front, uphill front ended cow coming along in third. Our third place cow, another really super rear under cow, just our second place cow just pushing a little bit more nicer through the seam to the other and prefer the T placement on our second place cow over to the third. Third place cow is over our fourth place cow, just a little bit more style. The straightness aligns a little bit more style all the way through above the rump structure, a little meter down through the tail setting. But a tremendous rudder cow here in fourth. And it's her overall clean cutness and sharpness that takes her over the beautiful rudder cow here in fifth. A little bit more cow power here in fourth and fifth. Once again, just a tremendous group of four year all the way down. Congratulations. In the Guernsey Ring, Judge Chubb is currently placing the Pros of Dam class. This class is sponsored by Walnut Lane Farm. As the judge places the five-year-old class in the red white ring, we'll give you a quick rundown. Four-year-old class. Four-year-old class sponsored by Spongy Old and Metamu Holsteins. 8136 was scratched. 8138 was scratched. 8139 was sixth. 8140, Ridgedale Runaway, uh, exhibited by Ridgedale in Sharon Springs, New York, was second and second best nutter. 8141 was fifth. 8142 was fourth. 
8143 Greenlee Adventura, class winner and first best nutter, exhibited by Underground uh, Genetics in Australia, and 8144 was third. The winner in a five-year-old class, class sponsored by A.K. Moore Holsteins, is entry 8145 Greenlee Edmund May, exhibited by Wayne and Sydney Savage. Uh, Matt and Kelly Walsh of Savage Lee, Knoxville, Maryland. Judge Ryan? Well, just one entry here in a five-year-old class, certainly a cow that can handle a lot of competition. If you love coal on in there, in this, the, this cow just dispels milk from nose to tail. You love the uphill row in the dairy, and some clean cutness all the way through. A beautiful head and neck on this cow, and then you get behind her, just a tremendous rear cow. Certainly a tremendous individual. Congratulations. Winner of the class, entry 8145, Greenlee, Edmund May, Exhibit at Wayne and Sydney Savage, Matt and Kelly Welsh of Savage Lee in Knoxville, Maryland. Congratulations. That class was sponsored by A.K. Moore Holsteins. A.K. Moore Holsteins in Pennsylvania. We're now ready for the six-year-old cow class in the red and white uh, ring. This class is sponsored by Greenlee Farms. Richard Green, Middletown, Delaware.
We uh, have probably been some damn out here. We got a really good quality uh, groups. Way goes way deep here. I have a handy one though. We've got two cows up here at the, uh, at the top. They win uh, with their world. A little butter in there in this. And uh, it goes over the group in the second here. Come on, my close placing is my second, my third group. Uh, you can switch these two. I wouldn't argue with you one bit. But I'm going to give my advantage on my hammer that one. One are fast. Uh, my summer year one are fast there. They've got they two nice, beautiful cows here. These uh, two and three. Uh, three of you can go to four. Uh, the overall the style of the cow. And, uh, no, that's the, uh, also the, maybe the, the heifer, my fourth, my fourth group, is a little bit, uh, maybe not quite as good about the heifer at the top of them. But a really good group of uh, producing produce bands here. Let's give these as zebras a big round of applause. In the six-year-old cow class in the red-white ring, third place into number 8147. MD Valley View Advent Lisa, exhibited by Kara Savage of Little Girl Dairy Cattle, Axon, Maryland. Second place, entry number 8146, Spun Gold MBU Jordan Jet, exhibited by Dana and Deanna Bendy of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. And winning the class is entry 8148, Ridgedale T. Rachu, exhibited by Cyrus Connor of Ridgedale, Sharon Springs, New York. Judge Ryan. Three real nice cows here in your age cow class. Certainly three cows that have definitely stood the test of time. For me, uh, this uh, cow that's uh, seven years old, fresh off over a year, certainly got the dairy, this an angularity, clean cutness all the way through. Cow that looks so youthful, yet carrying her under high above the hocks. I just prefer the crease down through the rear quarters so that it takes her over the big framing cow here in second. I like the deep placement a little bit nicer. She moves a little bit freer than the under hocks, but what a dairy, open, clean cut cow coming along here in second. A tremendous spring and openness to both the four rear rim. It's overall damn natural dairiness. It takes her over the big strong cow here in third or second place. Cow just flexes that hock a little bit nicer. I just prefer her front teeth to place up square, a little bit more square up beneath the front quarters today. But what a tremendous rear under cow coming along here in third. Once again, uh, three real nice uh, H cows here. Cow class. Congratulations to the breeders and exhibitors. And that six-year-old cow class sponsored by Greenlee, Richard Green. Uh, if you're marking your catalog, 8146 was second. Second best letter, Spun Gold MBU Jordan Jet, exhibited by Dale and Deanna Bending in Gettysburg. 8147 was third. 8148 Ridgedale T. Rashu, exhibited by Cyrus Connor. Ridgedale was first place, first bred in them, and then first best son. We're now ready for the 125,000 pound class in the red and white show. In the Guernsey Ring, currently placing the Damn Daughter class, sponsored by the Vest Farm, the Dixon family, and the Jeremy Guernseys. To recap, produce a dam just left the ring. The first three places were first place entry 3317, exhibited by P. Moore Miller, Billborn Farm, Granby, Connecticut. Second place 3355, Bernita Gables, Snyder Homestead Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. And third, 3168, Lindsay Brothers, Walnut Corner Farm, Bismarck, Illinois. Once again, just one entry here, certainly a tremendous cow that has stood the test of time. Beautiful production cow, tremendous frame cow, cow that gets around really, really well there on her rear feet. Likes to get behind her, just a beautiful rear around this cow. Once again, congratulations to the rear and exhibitor of this uh, production cow. In addition to winning the class, Sonny is first best utter and first bred known. Production class. We'll 
will now select the senior champion from the Red White Show, the senior champion. We have a dam and daughter out here uh, in the Guernsey Show here. Uh, we've got two nice cows here uh, to start the pass uh, with. We've got uh, beautiful udders on the cows. We've got uh, well-made cows, uh, well-deserving of the first uh, blue ribbon. Then we come out with a cow that won our class uh, with another older cow that's a nine-year-old over the other two cows uh, in, in third year. Um, really nice group of cows here for dam and daughters. Sponsored by DeVest Farm, the Dixon family, and Jeremy Gerzies. First place went to 3326, Milburn Fame's fiance, exhibited by P. Maury Miller, Milburn Farm, Granby, Connecticut. Second place went to Tom McCarty, Rocky Hill Farm, Hughesville, Pennsylvania. And third place, 3312, Dolly Runville Starlight, exhibited by Cynthia Coons. Dolly Run Farm, Centerville, Pennsylvania. Currently coming into the ring is the Exhibitor's Herd, and that's sponsored by Craig Moore Farm, Eternal Flame, and Eternal Flame Jerseys.
Let's give all our exhibitors a nice round of applause here. Uh, brought on a tremendous senior show today. Pull out our pair of four-year-olds, our first and second place four-year-olds, and our first place five-year-old vying for your senior team. A tremendous frame here on our four-year-old count. It's recently fresh. You love the size and scale, and you get behind her just a tremendous rear end. An extremely very clean cut for her second place four year old. A cow that's a love the spring and openness to both her four and rear rib, and her first place five year old. Another cow just an extremely very clean cut cow all the way through a cow that just spells them out. Once again, I want to congratulate your senior champion, reserve, and honorable mention. <laughs> It's a beautiful pair of four-year-olds here, but for me, senior champion, a cow that uh, just needs a little bit more time to clean off yet, but what a tremendous frame cow, beautiful iron cow, cow just recently fresh, and a cow that moves exceptionally well. For me, for reason, her senior champion gets a little bit closer, but her four-year-old today, just a little bit more spring and openness to her barrel today. She's a little bit higher at the top of the rear, arm, but taking nothing away from this five-year-old. Just a beautiful, dairy, clean, cut, sharp cow all the way through. Senior champion on your first first. First place four year old, reserve on your second place four year old. I will mention senior champion on your first place five year old. A beautiful group of cows out here. Once again, congratulations. Your senior champion of the red white show is the first place four year old at your number 8143, Greenlee and Ventura, exhibited by Richard M. Green and Greenlee in Middletown, Delaware. Reserve senior champion is a second place four year old entry 8140, Ridgedale Runaway, exhibited by Cyrus Connor of Ridgedale Farms, Sharon Springs, New York. An honorable mention is the first place five year old entry 8145, Greenlee and Ben May, exhibited by Wayne and Sydney Savage, Matt and Kelly Walsh, Savage Lee, Knoxville, Maryland. We're now ready to select our overall grand champion in the Red White Show. Well, we come down to the last class today. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's been a ball being out here in a place in your cattle for you. Uh, you all great exhibitors. They do uh, you all all nice. And uh, thank you for inviting me to come and judge your show. Uh, I know one thing. I didn't sleep very good last night, but I'm going to sleep good tonight. I know that. So uh, I'll tell you what, uh, for our last class, the uh, uh, exhibitors are here. We got a nice, easy, uh, pretty easy uh, first place here. I just love the dairy. Of these gals, the uh, the select of the others on them. Then you got two good heifers there, and they're uh, next. Then, uh, then. then we got a nice uh, group here in second with our best other cow out of the uh, of the show in there. And they got two nice beautiful cows, and they got two uh, pretty nice late heifers there. Uh, it's kind of close place in between two and three. If you want to switch them to, I probably wouldn't argue with it, but I'm going to give the, the advantage. Uh, this overall snugness of the hunter and you from both others and. Uh, is uh, what I'm going to give the advantage to on, the, on my second place group. A nice group from all the way down through there. Uh, good job bringing them out for us. Thank you. Not real practical. In the exhibitor's herd, the top herd went to 33.56. Lindsay Brothers, I'm sorry, entry 33.56, Bernita Gable, Snyder Homestead Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. Second place went to Kevin Stolzfus, Woolwick Manor Farm. Third goes to P. Maury Miller, Bill Barn Farm. Thank you for a great show.
as we select our overall grand champion and our red joint show, we want to again reintroduce our judge and thank Mr. Chad Ryan for a job well done. Chad is from Ryan B. Holsteins in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. He and his wife Amy have two sons. And uh, again, we're happy to have Chad with us today and thank him for uh, coming to Paris Burger Judge in our All American Red and White Show. Thank you, Chad. Before I name my grand champion, I'd, I'd certainly like to thank the, the exhibitors and the, the breeders for asking me to come out to your All-American to, to judge your show. It's certainly been a, a tremendous show and, and, like I said earlier, quite an honor for me and a privilege. Um, I'd also like to thank the people I put the All-American on. There's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes and, and uh, no doubt it's uh, been first class and a tremendous hospitality for myself and all the other judges here. We've got our pair intermediate champions, our pair senior champions, and our junior champions. I think uh, six individuals that are extremely competitive, they're, they're my kind. They're tremendous frame, they're dairy, they're angular, they're tremendous other cows, animals that move exceptionally well. I'm going to congratulate your grand champion, reserve, and I will mention in that order. She's all quality. I love the dairiness, the angularity, the clean cutness all the way through. 
that I think, uh, like I said, I know they're a little bit different, but for me, they're the best two cows here today. And uh, certainly taking nothing away from this four-year-old, a beautiful cow, beautiful, tremendous utter cow. And for me, your best utter of the show just needs a little bit more time. You have to clean off and whittle down to be uh, to get a, around our intermediate champions today once again. Grand champion on our junior two-year-old, reserve on our senior two-year-old, honorable mention on our four-year-old. And like I said, I'd like to give recognition again to our two heifers, two beautiful heifers, certainly tremendous frame heifers in their own right, our first place fall yearling and our first place winter yearling from earlier. Once again, thanks for the honor and the privilege to come judge your show. Congratulations to all the breeders and exhibitors. The overall brand champion of the Red and White Show, first place junior two year old at 8102 MS Glad Ray More Fun, exhibited by Cooper Galt of Rock and View Farm of London, New York. The reserve brand is the first place senior two year old. 8120, Rob Sierra Rustler and Tina B, exhibited by Laura Emerson of the Middletown, Delaware. And winning the honorable mention is the first place four year old entry 8143, Greenlee Advent Care, exhibited by Richard Green of Middletown, Delaware. Best red known of the Red White Show is the first place senior two year old at the 8120, Rob Sarah Russell, Tina B, exhibited by Laura Emerson of Middletown, Delaware. Again, that's the best red known of the show. The best utter of the show is the honorable mention grand champion, first place four year old cow at the 8143, Green League, Edmund Terra Red, exhibited by Richard Green of Middletown, Delaware. Just one senior best three entry here, certainly uh, quite a group of cows, tremendous frame cows, the dairiness, the angularity cows with tremendous udders, uh, certainly cows that can handle a lot of competition. Uh, congratulations to the breeders and exhibitors of those three fine cows. The winner of the best three females class. Red Whites, Spud Gold Holsteins, and Gettysburg, Pennsylvania.
two outstanding uh, groups here in our uh, produce, but certainly uh, I'm wondering what this first group closest to my right here is with just a little bit more maturity with the two milk cows, two cows that are extremely dairy, clean cutting, and other cows, but it's their overall maturity to take some over both our GMB and the heifer that did exceptionally well also, but like I said, two outstanding groups here in your produce today. Congratulations to the breeders and exhibitors. Produce at Am Class, first place to Cyrus Connor of Ridgedale and Sharon Springs, New York. Second place to Chris and Jen Hill of MD Hillbrook, Thurmont, Maryland. We're now ready for the Dam and Daughter class. And our dam and offspring, four outstanding uh, groups here. Uh, it's hard to deny this first group here, your winning senior three-year-old and your first place winner yearling, just a beautiful pair. A little bit more angularity, clean cutness and sharpness, and uh, these two, I think, are a little bit, move a little bit nicer on their rear feet and legs than their pair of cows. That'll be second year produce, uh, a tremendous pair of frame cows here that follow very, very closely. And it's their maturity that takes them over the group far down there. Uh, Two uh, well balanced cows, uh, cows with the real nice udders that takes them over the cow and the heifer to my far right, that'll be third. Once again, four exceptional groups here in your produce. 
And like I said earlier, thanks again for the opportunity. It's certainly been an honor and a privilege. Congratulations once again to all the breeders and exhibitors. The final class of the Red and White Show, the Dam and Daughter class, first place to entry 156, Richard Green. Second, 8167, Kara Savage. Third place to 8162, Dale Deanna Bending. 